Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to video three of the gas venting series. Today we're going to talk about sizing chimneys using the rule of thumb method. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA. Before watching this video, please ensure that you watch video 2 of the gas venting series entitled Sizing Vents Using the Rule of Thumb Method. A lot of stuff is explained there that will play into this video. For the next example, we have a single appliance being vented into a masonry chimney. Now the rule of thumb sizing technique for chimneys is slightly different than that for vents. I have a 5 inch draft hood outlet and my chimney needs to be the equivalent of one size larger than that. So the chimney needs to be the equivalent of a 6 inch round pipe. Now many chimneys are not round. So we need to look at a table way at the back of the code book on page 225. Table C10. If I look down this middle column here, that is inside diameter or equivalent diameter, I need to go down to 6. And if I go across to the left, I'm going to find out that a chimney that is 4 inches by 8 inches rectangular is equivalent to a 6 inch pipe. So we are clear, this rule of thumb that says the chimney needs to be one size larger than the appliance is not actually a code requirement. This is a good piping practice. For my next example, I have two appliances being vented into a brick chimney. I have a 6 inch appliance and a 5 inch appliance. I'm going to use the exact same math that I did for the vent. So I need 100% of the largest. So 6 squared or 6 times 6 equals 36 plus 50% of everything else. 5 squared equals 25. 5 times 5 equals 25. Divided by 2 equals 12.5. 12 12.5 12 plus 36 equals 48.5 inches. One last step. I need to take the square root of 48.5 inches. I'm going to find out that is 6.94 inches. And so we go to the next vent size, which is 7 inches. So my chimney needs to be 7 inches round or equivalent to, which back to table C10 was 4 by 8 inches. And that brings us to the end of this video, but stay tuned for the next video where we talk about how to size vent connectors using the rule of thumb method. And yes, it is different. Until then, you have yourself a great day.